members and congregations of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints have been in Papua New Guinea since the late 1970s. The nation of Papua New Guinea was dedicated for the preaching of the Gospel of Jesus Christ by Elder L. Tom Perry of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles in 1983 from a hillside that overlooks the proposed temple site. Since that time, church members have had to travel to Australia or other countries in the region to worship in the temple. Latter-day Saints believe that marriages and family relationships can endure beyond this life. Temples are houses of the Lord in which families can be united for eternity, so church members are looking towards the upcoming construction of a temple in Papua New Guinea with excitement and joy. I just felt so touched by the joy in the faces of the saints that came today. They have just genuinely excited and delighted that we'll have a house of the Lord here. The temple will be built in our own land in Papua New Guinea and I am very thankful for the Lord's blessing today. A house of the Lord will offer a place of beauty, peace and reflection for members and friends of the church who will visit the temple grounds and gardens. In addition, Church members who will worship in the temple will learn about God's plan for his children and the teachings of Jesus Christ. A groundbreaking event on the 22nd of April 2023 provided an opportunity for government officials and other invited guests to learn more about the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and the purpose of temples. Temple groundbreaking is a beautiful location for us, the members here in Papua New Guinea. Never in my lifetime I thought I'll see this, and I'm so grateful. I think my children's and you know my posterity will be blessed because of this event. I felt different. Like sometimes, like when you're out in the world, it's it's a different feeling, and when you come here and the music and everyone, it's it's a different feeling. It's overwhelming. It's been a, it's a great pleasure to come here and see that you know the church is still going strong after how many years, as well as um, you know being a beacon of light to, to the rest of Papua New Guinea. It was a huge measure of happiness that just washed over myself as well as everybody who attended. I think it's just such a great season of preparation helping everyone get ready for a house of the Lord and be worthy to enter and what a blessing it's going to be to the church and I think to the whole nation of Papua New Guinea.